Oh, we broke for the winter. Dara, no! She dead. Hello from the void. It's Rose. Welcome back to my channel and to my not so berry challenge after a little break again. This entire look and my slightly croaky voice is brought to you by having a summer cold, which has been really delightful and is part of the reason I'm a bit late with this. I'm also just been really busy. I hope you're all okay. How are you doing? How are you feeling? What are you doing? What are you playing? Drop a message in the comments. Today with Floor, we are going to be really pushing for some of those level 10s, her career, her skills, because it is time. We are ready. Um, and, you know, obviously trying to progress the twins a little bit. I think Cerise will probably age up in this episode. We'll see how far we get. But yeah, let's see how it goes. Hopefully we can just get through without anyone dying or anything too mad happening. But it's flawed, so I won't hold my breath. Let's see how we do. Last episode, we took a little, a little hiatus from the Winterfest celebrations to go down into town and drop homework off and meet some new school friends, which is where we left the last episode. Um, but now we're back. I finally convinced them all to open presents at the same time, which, let me tell you, was a struggle. And even even lovely Curtis came back, so that was um, that was good of him. Um, in any spare moment, Floor is just grinding to get that logic skill up because we are desperate to finish her generational goals. It's been a little while, so she's basically confined to the chest balcony at any point where she doesn't actively need to do something to keep herself alive. <laughs> Curtis has also been a sweetheart and he is helping the twins out with their school project. It's not super important to me that the twins are super academic, like quite often I think the Rose generation people take it quite like a um, academic overachiever way, but I kind of feel that's more of a yellow thing for me, so um, I want them to be doing okay at school but it's not like the be all and end all. Oh, we broke, we broke for the winter. And now we're all hanging out in Floor's room, uh, Crimson's asking for a gift. Carmine, why aren't you sleeping in your own bed? Oh, he takes off to his mummy! Cute. I mean, slightly terrifying, but I do love Crimson. He's so sweet. And good morning. I figured it was probably about time to pay some attention to Cerise, so Floor's gone and said hi. She's actually going to attempt to help her with one of her skills. You know, not all of them. Be wildly out of character, but, but one we can probably manage. And the kid desperately needs a bath, so... We'll do that and then we'll get back to absolutely grinding away at our logic and mischief skills. Good morning Crimson, you gap toothed sweetie. I'm sorry, he's just too adorable. I'm still a little bit sad I didn't get to play the Rose Generation with him just because look at that face but I do find it more believable that Carmine would like follow the path I have planned out. Um, and yeah, at the moment we're just, you know, strengthening our relationships across the yellow, across the yellow ground. We're not going to mess anything up with Daisy just yet, but in time. And, you know, I do find it telling that Crimson and Daisy are still very much, um, you know, besties. And Daisy quite often doesn't call Carmine and does call Crimson. So definitely nothing happening there. Back on the chess. Finally, we have reached level nine. Only one more level to go. Level 10, I swear, it takes forever. But first, we got to go to work. I'm not thinking we're going to get promoted today, probably, but... Um, it would be nice, so we're going to try and like boss out as many tasks as possible. Hello, alien colleague. I still haven't had the opportunity to push the big red button, but I'm going to avoid that just in case it does somehow end up with Floor being dead, which would be bad. Oh, she's feeling some festering bitterness, which has put her in a terrible mood, which we do not need. We worked really hard to put her in a focus mood before she comes to work, so who is messing me up? Is it Dara? Dara? What did you do to Floor? Or it could be the alien guy. Wait, we have two aliens. Oh, Floor's been being really alien racist. She's um, thought that these guys are both the same, but we've actually got two. Uh, one of them is one of them is only one of them is Abe the alien. The other one is someone else the alien. My bad. But I mean, Floor is inconsiderate, so she probably wouldn't notice at all. She's just like you, stupid echo-voiced aliens. Get out of my lab. Now she's going hunting for the other one with her freeze gun. Didn't think we've got what we need to make the Reaper's friend know. So we need um, Death Flower and an Alien Crystal, neither of which we're going to get. So that's another another strike against our promotion opportunities. Um, instead, we're just like evilly laugh around the place. Yep, see, two aliens, Dos Alienos. 
I do think at this point in like both the careers and the skills, it just takes so long to get promoted or progress it. The game does like lose a bit of dynamism. Like one thing that weirdly I would like from Sims 5 is like something like additional challenge that's not just like, oh my God, it looks like Curtis and Ayaka had a baby. Back on my tangent, I think I'd just really appreciate if instead of just grinding out, like reading a book for an entire day, there was a little bit more like challenge somehow built into the higher levels of skills and careers. It's a little bit dull. That's my wish for Sims 5, please. Oh my god, Carmine has become a B student and so has Crimson. Thank you, Curtis, for helping them with their project. And Flora's having a small meltdown. She's like, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, which I can relate to right now. But we'll just let her self-soothe with the, with the ray gun. Sadly walking about to make some serums. Doing serum stuff at the working day. Oh my god, Dara! Dara, no! She dead. I mean, but you died looking fabulous. Thanks, in no small part, to Floor. You know, forcing you to constantly wear your formal wear at work. But more importantly, this is going to prevent me from getting promoted. <laughs> because I'm not going to finish my tasks. Oh, God, Dara. Could you have been any more inconvenient? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I know, Dara. Yes! I mean, what a way to get promoted. Dara literally drops dead and Floor manages to make it to the top of her career. We make an absurd amount of money. We've got a new computer, we've got some new clothes, got this weird little glasses. Maybe Dara had to die for this to happen. I am absurdly, preposterously, embarrassingly thrilled that we have finally hit another one of Floor's milestones, only the level 10 skills to go. I knew it would be a grind at the end, but still, ugh, Dara's death. Sad, but oh well. So now I'm going to focus on Carmine for the rest of the evening, give myself a break from Floor, leave her to play some chess, and I wish I could take both twins on a double date, but I can't do that, so I guess I'll have to pick and it will have to be our air. I'm sorry, but look how nice the lighting is right now. I mean, I know we've got the walls down and it's a shocking way to play a game. However, just the combination of the like red rocks and the red sims and red, red, red. Ugh, love it, love it, obsessed. Taking a hot little minute to make sure Cerise isn't gonna die. I do want to invite over her alien parent, but I have to wait till she's a kid to do that, I guess. Um, you never know, maybe Floor could have a relationship with a person who um, unexpectedly abducted her and ruined my plans. I mean, probably not. There's an issue with consent there, but mm, we'll think about it. Anyway, we've invited Gianna over to keep Floor company and play chess with her or have mischief done to her. Um, and then we are going to take Carmine out with Daisy because she needs to go on some dates for her aspiration and... Honestly, Floor's so depressed that she's not really going to be skilling particularly quickly this evening, so I'm giving myself a break to enjoy playing my game. Oh well, this was a terrible date location. It's very outdoors. And it's snowing. Okay. Do I uh, make them go somewhere else, given there's not even lights on here, or do I put them in the hot tub and see if they avoid freezing to death by doing that? I mean, we'll give it a go. I can't be bothered to sit through another loading screen. Sims 4 in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> just constantly staying on my home lot. And they're, you know, just straight on their phones. Typical teenagers. I'm not sure what we're apologising for, but invariably we've done something awkward. Or maybe Carmine's just feeling a bit insecure. It is quite pretty scene, you know, with the light from the hot tub and the snowy town behind them. And teens are idiots. Having been a teen, I would 100% have got in a hot tub at a closed swimming pool. Been like, no one will mind, we won't get caught. I was gonna say, why have you gone under the water, Daisy dear? But she's just moving seats in the least practical possible way. This might actually be the first time I've been in a hot tub in Sims 4, and I have to say I'm glad the tradition of musical hot tub seats is still alive and well in this game. No one will stay where you put them, they just go wherever they want. Um, but apparently sitting in the hot tub and chatting doesn't count as sitting and chatting for the date, so I'm gonna have to risk getting them out of the nice bubbly water and into the freezing cold winter. Woohoo! Check your check your phones, update your social media, 
don't talk about anything too deep or too scary or only talk about things that are very deep and very scary there is no in between um no just like communicating the small stuff and you know obviously complain a lot about stuff being lame and terrible that within 10 years time you will actually have to admit you're into like buying your clothes at marks and spencer and wearing jeans that are actually comfortable those were the sad realizations of my late 20s feel free to whack yours in the comments what what was the thing that you thought was the lamest thing in the entire world which subsequently you've realized is just comfortable and necessary i think given the temperature i'm actually going to end the day early we've already made it into gold territory and all we need to do for carmen is actually have her go on the date so they don't have to be particularly good and there will be many 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 more so um, i'm going to send them home to think about what might be missing in their relationship is it that she's not her twin is it that you just don't know what you really want just yet something's probably missing if you can hear vibrations that'd be my cat she's very grumpy we moved house and ever since that happened she basically is stuck indoors and hates me Flaws in a pretty bad way she has failed to troll her feelings away Gianna and Curtis don't seem to want to leave but I'm still just gonna send everyone to bed it's oh so quiet, it's oh so still, why is Flora awake? Oh, you better be kidding me. Oh, for fuck's sake, no! No, 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 no. She's pregnant this time, it's going freaking back to 6am. I like that she's been abducted, but still has like come back and been like, yes, I'm just going to make the garlic noodles you earlier instructed me to make. Also, since when a garlic noodles gourmet food? Like, some of the choices that have been made in this game, I just question. With love, obviously. I love this game. I hate this game. I'm salty at this game for abducting me twice, when I didn't even bring any of my space stuff home for exactly that reason. Right, we are going to take a vacation. Well, take a day off work anyway. No! Bastards! Do not want. Come on, why don't you come play chess with your mum? She's sad, she could use some socialisation with her chosen heir. Also, we need to take the Christmas decorations down. No matter how much I do, there's always about 20 other things that need doing. And if that ain't the true life simulation, I don't know what is. Crimson really hates exercising, yet he's aggressively swimming and I'm not really sure why. Floor's just being mean to Carmine. Sounds about right. Carmine's straight up cheating at chess. What did I do to deserve this family? Especially the women, they're just utterly, utterly bonkers. But I wouldn't change it because it's fun. But sometimes I want to bang their heads together, but it's fun. It's fun. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. We are having a gathering and Blaine and Marigold and Daisy, everyone's here. Everybody's here. I think this is definitely both the perk and the challenge of doing a challenge so like the Maxi Berry challenge because I don't think I've ever really like naturally played a game where I have like a massive friend group so it's so hard to control but obviously that's kind of required um, to have the level of acquaintances I need for the Rose generation so um, I'm playing with clubs really f in a way that I haven't previously I've got all of these people constantly in the house which is not something I would normally do I'm normally hyper focused on my family so yeah it's a it's a fun challenge and like genuinely um, has like diversified the way I play so the reason for this particular calling interest gathering is that we have got some school projects to do and in the story I am telling um, Blaine has been paired with Carmine and Daisy has been paired with Crimson so they've got the whole of the pooling interest group over to um, work on the projects you know hang out together try and make it a bit more fun rather than just being homework but Blaine is very much like giving off the vibe of why the hell are we doing this like this is completely lame like why don't we go do something more fun anything would be more fun so um Carmine who is definitely a little bit impressionable and like wants to impress people is like yeah it is kind of lame Whereas if she was uh, paired with Daisy or Marigold or any of the others, really, she probably would be a bit more um, a bit more into the project. So, yeah, we're starting to see some like different different influences coming into Carmine's life, which hopefully will help her to develop her character as we go ahead in the challenge. It is just worth saying that um, all of the people that made these Sims for me um, were told what kind of character to make. So I sort of sent out a list of like 
a sim that gives off this vibe so um, you don't need to worry about uh, Blaine's making parent being upset that she is having some more bad girl vibes. And the reason that Carmine and Daisy aren't working together is that Crimson and Daisy, they've been lab partners their whole lives. They've always done group projects together. So Carmine's like, of course, you can still be partners. And it is time to boss out Floor's final things. And of course, she is majorly depressed. But unfortunately for her, Cerise's birthday is also today. So we are going to have to pay some attention to her and not just boss through our skills. So let's maybe start out by washing this ear child. She's so bummed out. Nice work, Carmine. So right, let's have Floor try and like give herself a pet talk. I think she's going to be too bummed out to raise her skills just now. Right, this kid, it's her birthday. So we will try and remember to do her cake. And where are her skills at? Let's have a, have a little looky look. She's doing okay. Let's have her go potty. Floor, we're just literally keep her up here. Which is super boring to watch, but it's what needs to be done. Jacob, no, get in the bin. She's having a bad day, and again, with your romantic needs, you are in a healthy, committed gay relationship. I completely support you in exploring other options, but have a chat with your husband first, and then try someone that isn't a chaos goblin. Thank you. Good night. Ah. So Curtis wants crimson to go and over and invite his significant other crimson doesn't have a significant other but so we can say no just now but look here uh so yeah crimson is still having like super feels for savannah so let's go give him like an opportunity to get to know her a bit that's terrifying i didn't know they were there floor you still playing your chess just inching on inching on it's probably going to take us all day, if not two days, to try and max that out. Who the hell are you? Um, happy holidays, Floor. Are you surprised to see me? Yes, I have no idea who you are. Kaylin Grubbs. I mean, it could be any of these people that died. Katrina's dead. Salma's dead. Ev oh, all the people we considered dating at the beginning are dead. I wonder if Mo or Paolo are dead. We know a lot of people and almost nobody likes us, so... But of all the persons we know, none of them are Kaylin Grubbs, so... I mean, I guess if she wants to play chess for floor, I'm not going to stop her. I'm going to try through and chonk through some of this day, like just skip sections, because the kids are just doing homework with the Pooling Interest Club. Cerise is trying to get her skills up, and floor is obviously just playing chess, playing chess, playing chess. And at some point, we're going to have her make a cake and age Cerise up. But yeah, it's probably going to jump around a bit more than I normally do, so sorry if that's disorienting. Uh, Gianna, no, I'm not surprised to see you because you're always here and we like you. So let's uh, go and personate some mermaids to Gianna. Gianna, would you like to be our new partner in Climb? Climb? Crime? Climb? Whatever, sure. Thanks. We're replacing Jacob because he keeps asking us out. And I think, because I've been recording this for a very long time now, I am going to get Cerise aged up and then we're going to call it a day, night, episode, whatever. Time is irrelevant. We have managed to help with some of her skills a bit. So we've got her to level two of most of them. Yeah, we have not done right by this kid, um, but we are going to have her come and at least have a nice birthday party, except for the fact that we seem to have given up on that. Um, floor. Help blow out candles. Cerise, please. It's just you and me, alien baby. Cerise is adorable. I will give her this. And starving. Goofball. Fine. Let's give her the creative aspiration. Because... Why not? That's uh, uh, some clothes that you have on your body. Let's uh, get you get some leftovers. I'm gonna send a floor to the toilet and then to bed. Sorry, Spub. I'll get right to you. What's going on with this gathering? Uh, Carmine is flirting with the girl that her brother really, really likes, having stolen his best friend. And I think that's as good a moment as any to sign off. We'll have a look at Made Over Series at the beginning of the next episode. And yeah, let's leave this mess for another time. 
think we're going to call that a mixed bag. On the plus side, we uh, did reach level 10 of our career, finally. Level 10 of our skills is still a little way off. If anyone has any hacks of how to speed that up, let me know because I'm kind of bored of watching floor play chess. Do I send her to classes for my club? Let me know. Uh, on the downside, we were abducted. Uh, may well be pregnant, really hoping we're not. Dara died, Floor's pretty depressed about that. So yeah, just a, a lot to contend with. Another good thing though is Carmine is very naturally like moving into that serial romantic personality vibe which i like so it means i think it's gonna be really fun to tell her story anyway if you're enjoying what i'm up to you have any thoughts about what we should be doing more of what you want to hear more of what you want to see less of drop it in the comments because i always love to hear your feedback it really helps me know how to put these videos together in a way that is entertaining and helps me enjoy my game even more if you you know just want more of this do consider subscribing give me a thumbs up please don't give me a thumbs down it would depress me right now anyway Thank you. Kind regards. See you again. Very formal. Sounds like I'm dying. Am I dying? Hopefully not. Goodbye.